I like buying small ones. I like buying big ones. I just like buying storage lockers. Look what I got right here. That's a, a pretty nice looking skateboard. <laughs> what? Good morning, Locker Nuts. All right, it is Tuesday morning, just a little bit after nine. I was actually a little bit late this morning. It didn't matter because they haven't started yet. Um, public Storage, Hayward, California. This is a great location. I love it. This is where I bought the third time lockers. There's two. One of them is actually right, right, right there, right there. Um, probably why I park here because I've parked here so many times. It has a big 10 by 20. It took me four months to get through because I was taking my time. I rented it back. Anyways, it was a fun locker. Both of them were fantastic lockers. Um, and I do like buying here. I also bought the Vintage Gamble locker here. That was also another really fun, exciting locker. Also two lockers. Huh, funny. Both those owned by the same owner, but two lockers. Um, great buys. Well, anyways, we're here today. It's a little sad because this is the last live auction, at least for the foreseeable future for public storage. Um, today is... Um, they're combined two routes into one. There's supposed to be 15 units. I don't know if that's been revised. That was the update last night. Um, after this month, they're going online. So storagetreasures.com is going to win their account. And we're going to be bidding online, which I don't like. And um, what that means is we'll have a lot more competition, right? The good news is that we'll be able to go to a lot more auctions. I'll be able to see the public storage auctions for everywhere, basically. And I won't have to drive there. And also, on the days that I usually come here, I can now sit at home and be packing from my Monday night auction, because this is always on a Tuesday, or I can be doing other stuff um, at the same time. But the competition part means that anything that comes up that looks good, which is pretty seldom here, <laughs> to be honest, but everything is going to get a lot more expensive, and the really good ones are going to get extremely more expensive. So there's gonna you're going to be able to still pick up some garbage ones for cheap. But the good ones are going to get pricier, and that seems to be the way the business is moving. It's getting tougher, guys. It's getting tougher. But uh, just like I was discussing with the regional manager inside, adjust and adapt. That's what we have to do. It's getting harder to make money. It's getting more expensive to buy. Adjust and adapt. That's all we can do, and that's what we will do. So um, anyways, today's a new day, and let's hope we get something good. All right, well, I didn't get anything there, obviously, and on to the next stop. Uh, but first I've just pulled over. I wanted to show real quick. Do you see this right here? This is the old holiday bowl building. I think it was built in the sixties and, um, <laughs> I don't, I've never even been here, but this place just looks so iconic really of a, an age gone by. And, um, but you see it in the state it is right now. It caught on fire. Apparently it's really sad. So last year, actually, it was a two, was it two years ago. No, it was last year in April, um, so a year and a half ago, I bought that third time locker. Well, when I was on the way to it, I got a ticket for using my cell phone, but I was using it for filming, not for talking. But I was trying to get you a picture of this as I drove by it because it's such a cool building, and I got pulled over and got a ticket. So, but anyways, the same building, Holiday Bowl, and now it's gone. So my, um, I don't know, maybe something inside of me knew I should capture that, even though it was poorly captured, uh, to remember it by, because now, we won't be able to uh we won't be able to see the holiday bowl anymore just this wreck that is left so anyways the fil the fires i think were suspectedly um suspected of being caused by the homeless who have been uh, a real problem here because they break in and set up camp inside so another thing wasted and gone and it's very sad but anyways just want to show you guys i hope you find that interesting Finally, something that looks halfway decent. Jack. Sixty for Luke. Alright, 
Jack. I don't even know what happened there. What did that last one sell for? Uh, $80. And to you. I think uh, some bids weren't taken on that. Was there anyone else? Um, I think I... Who won that? You. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. I, I put iPad on mine. Uh, <laughs> so is that 80 looking for 100 Oh no, I do I do want that. I heard other bids coming in. I just I wanted to bid if I didn't get it. Okay. Okay. No, I have you on the list for having that one at 80. Cool. All right, I don't even know what happened there, but this is what the this is one of the problems of the virtual auctions. You know, we're doing it on our phone. It's just it, the technology is just not there, but I know we're just trying to do our best. Everyone's trying to do their best. But you know what? This this is going away. This is probably the last virtual auction I'll be at. Um, I mean that public storage is doing, but in this case there was a glitch there, it, but you know what, it wound up getting me a, a little bit cheaper. I'm surprised none of the other bidders uh, spoke up, because they were, one guy bid 100, another one bid 105, but whatever, I got it for 80, let's take a look. Alright Locker Nuts, this is the part that we like, isn't it? I got this one for 80 bucks, 80 bucks. Luckily I've got my little portable hand truck right here that I found in a unit just recently. Love that thing. That came out of the wine, uh, that wine unit I bought, if you remember that one. Let's see what's in here. A little tiny guy, a little tiny guy. I like buying small ones. I like buying big ones. I just like buying storage lockers. This one looks okay, doesn't it? Four, eight, nine boxes. I see one hiding back there. Nine boxes, 80 bucks. That's less than 10 bucks a box. I already did open this though when they took the lock off and light, very light, not so good. Let me turn the camera around and show you what it looks like. All right, looks like a little diaper bag and it almost smells like diapers in here. I mean, that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying dirty diapers. Well, hopefully I'm not. <laughs> There's a little kid's bag. It's shrink wrapped up, which is interesting. Cooler, stepping stool, all right. Uh, and I did peek back here already. So let's see, what did I got right here? That's a, a pretty nice looking skateboard. Got a little helmet, Protec. Oh, look at that, that's awesome. A little clip on there for your GoPro. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Mm -hmm. I did not see that in the video. Did not see that. Rain. Huh, look at that. Looks like it's barely used. Barely used. That looks like a pretty decent little board. All right, should I do it? Oh, man, guys. I'm gonna break my neck. I can actually ride a skateboard, at least I used to be able to. That doesn't mean it's a good idea, however. All right, that, 40 bucks minimum. If Rain's a better brand, it might be worth more. Easy 40 bucks. Easy 40 bucks. All right. See if one of my kids wants to play with it first, though. All right. So then we got a couple bags here. What is this? What is, what, this is a foot massager. Dr. Scholl's. Hopefully that's not too dirty or gross. That's kind of good. My feet kill me lately. I might be using that. All right, all right, well, there's not much more than that to see because there's not much more than that here. Ooh, let's, see here. let's turn the light on. Okay, what do we got? Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, come on, please be something. Please be something. What the heck? 
back, you guys. Right away. I, talk, I always talk quiet when I find jewelry because there's other people. There's somebody right down around the corner there. Okay, so I don't like the deal. Yes, we found gold. Keep it on the down, though. Okay, nothing, owl, costume, what's this thing? Hmm. Precious, huh? Okay. <laughs> That's what it says. It says precious. It's kind of funny. But look, we got some other stuff in here. Ooh, that looks kind of nice right there. I'm not seeing any markings just yet. Modia. Okay. Yeah. It's just a watch. Hmm. I don't think that's anything either. She doesn't have the right weight. It's a little bit light. Okay. Yeah. Nah. I don't think it is any gold in here, guys. Sure looks like it could be, though. This I'm not so sure about. This might be silver. Hmm. All right, well, we'll take it home. Get it untangled, take a closer look. But, geez, we found this already. <laughs> found that already. In this light box, which appeared to be empty. That'd be nice if that's in here. The GBL, what's it called? Charge 4? Oh, that's, that's a good little speaker. It's not here though. Maybe it's in the unit. I doubt it. Okay. Alright. Okay. Well, already, that's pretty good already, right? I think so. 80. Oh, don't knock the jewelry off. <laughs> That's not a good place for it. I almost knocked it right off. Spill it all over the ground. Okay, so um, 80 bucks. 80 bucks. Who knows what's in these other boxes? All right, good, good, good. Good investment. Skateboard, jewelry. This is. I'm happy. At least I got something today. Um, auctions are over, obviously. Uh, there's no more. I was bidding on one in Pleasanton today. I put a $3,100 bid on it, obviously. Uh, it was good because I don't spend that much money when it's not. So. Um, it got canceled. It's supposed to be like less than an hour before to go. Uh, I was leading the bid and it got canceled. So, boo. But at least I got something today and at least it looks kind of exciting. Let me load this up. We're not going to spend time here. Uh, let me load this up, go home, and uh, we'll pick this video up when we start unboxing it. All right. Deal? Deal. All right. fits in one elevator and luckily for me boom that's all i have to carry it to you right here very yeah wind's picking up again just blew my net down easiest clean out ever <laughs> that took me like four minutes nice all right so check this out this skateboard rain rain skateboard and it's got it's a long board i'm sorry it's not just a skateboard it is a long board it's got these atlas trucks which are pretty cool it looks like it's barely been used barely been used so um kind of funny because the guy uh i found some photographs in there i think the guy was an aspiring dj or maybe he was a dj or an aspiring dj 
he had a bunch of photos taken with him on this with his uh, like skateboarding clothes on like fox and vans and he had a um that helmet on and they were like almost like modeling shots i think they were to, for a promotional so he wanted to look like a cool skateboarder uh for his dj business and um I don't think it was really used very much. It's in beautiful condition. Look at like the tape on or the the rough roughness here is like barely barely seen any use and the the wheels are like just barely a little dirty. Anyways, these skateboards are about 250 bucks brand new. Used market, they get about 150 bucks. I think they're called a drop in because they've got this little slot here where the the trucks mount through um which makes this skateboard a little bit different, but uh Pretty good, eighty dollar buy, and we got a hundred and fifty dollar board. So far we're up, but there's a lot more to get through. We gotta see what's in those boxes, and there's good stuff to come. Okay, there it is. Look at that, boom, 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 boom. Not bad. Um, I put it. I chose to put it in my storage because at home, well, tonight we've got the live auction, which I mentioned. Tomorrow, however, is gonna be complicated because we're having hard, not, not hardwood flooring, but a hard surface flooring. It's a vinyl tile put into where the auction room is ah, so that means that everything in the auction room has got to come out at the end of the evening or first thing in the morning where does it go well it doesn't go in the house because we got cleaners coming besides that we have to go in the garage because that's where i ship out of so all the auction items got to go in the garage which is it's not that dirty but it ain't that clean either so anyways stuff came here We're, we'll be back here soon to go through it maybe tomorrow i don't know We'll just have to see. All right, we got nine boxes of fun, and I did do some pixies, and uh, I'll tell you what, it looks good. It looks very, very good. Like in here, for example, in this garbage bag, look at this big heavy jacket, Tommy Hilfiger. See that right there, Tommy Hilfiger, and it feels like down. It feels like a down jacket. It's very nice, and. Uh, um, there's some other good stuff in there too. You know, I did. I did have to peek. All right, it's, it's fun. It's fun. I like it. It's a fun part of the job. So I took the jewelry out that we found. We'll bring that home and take a closer look. But um, not much time for any of this. So, uh, anyways, score did all right for 80 bucks for sure. For sure. I don't know if I have another video after this. I don't know how long this is going to be of a video. Uh, but maybe we're going to cut it right there and we'll pick up when I come back and go through this. If so. Until next time, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lock and Nuts. Timberland. That's some money right here. That's got to be, I think. That's a decent resale. Size 5, though. They're small. Those are pretty sweet, though. They were my size. I'd keep them. Ooh, what's this? Okay, now we got something better, maybe. Light.